Hello and welcome to another reading from the book, The Faith I Live By, a daily devotional. Today's reading is entitled, Redeemer, Priest and King, July 8th. For such an high priest became us who is holy, harmless, undefiled, separate from sinners, and made higher than the heavens. Hebrews 7.26 By divine direction, the tribe of Levi was set apart for the service of the sanctuary. In the earliest times, every man was the priest of his own household. In the days of Abraham, the priesthood was regarded as the birthright of the eldest son. Now, instead of the firstborn of all Israel, the Lord accepted the tribe of Levi for the work of the sanctuary. The priesthood, however, was restricted to the family of Aaron. Aaron and his sons alone were permitted to minister before the Lord. The rest of the tribe were entrusted with the charge of the tabernacle. In accordance with their office, a special dress was appointed for the priests. Thou shalt make holy garments for Aaron, thy brother, for glory and for beauty. Exodus 28.2 was the divine direction to Moses. Everything connected with the apparel and deportment of the priests was to be such as to impress the beholder with a sense of the holiness of God, the sacredness of his worship, and the purity required of those who came into his presence. Not only the sanctuary itself, but the ministration of the priests was to serve unto the example and shadow of heavenly things. Hebrews 8 verse 5 The people were taught each day by means of types and shadows the great truths relative to the advent of Christ as Redeemer, Priest, and King. And once each year their minds were carried forward to the closing events of the great controversy between Christ and Satan, the final purification of the universe from sin and sinners. The sacrifices and offerings of the Mosaic ritual were ever pointing toward a better service, even a heavenly. The merits of his, Jesus' sacrifice, were sufficient to present to the Father in our behalf. We are to have free access to the atoning blood of Christ. This we must regard as the most precious privilege, the greatest blessing ever granted to sinful man. Thank you for listening today. I trust that you have received the message God had in store for you. God's peace be upon you. Maranatha.